Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgamerman.com. The next question is about a processor, an Intel Q6600. What do I think of it? Is it still any good? Because there's a lot, of course, new processors coming out from Intel. Yes, this is still a very, very, very good processor. I have two of these that I personally use. I have one on my gaming rig, which is the Asus P5 and T Deluxe motherboard. Also one on my home theater PC, which is using the Asus P5 uh, E3 Deluxe Wi-Fi board. These CPUs have been fantastic. The Q6600 is overclocked to 3.5 gigahertz, no problem whatsoever. Still a fantastic CPU. And why many people now are thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't go that way, is because of the front side bus. The front side bus on the Q6600 is defaulted at 1066 megahertz. But remember, you can overclock that no problem if you have a good motherboard. Don't worry about the front side bus on that particular CPU. Uh, the new uh, CPUs, the 9000 series CPUs, of course, have the front side bus of 1,333 megahertz. That's the new kind of standard uh, in front side bus. But if you're overclocking, nobody is worried about front side bus because you can always overclock way um, beyond that, possibly if it's a good CPU. Now. The Q it stands for quad core, and if you're into gaming alone, you don't really need a quad core processor. You can just go ahead and get a dual core. And if you're thinking about a dual core, I would recommend the E8400. That's from Intel, and that CPU is fantastic. You should be able to get a very, very high overclock from that. But if you really want to go and do, and you want to go quad core, go ahead and get the Intel Q9450 CPU. That's a, a really good CPU. From what I hear, I haven't actually tested this myself, but from reading it, um, reading online and different reviews, uh, most people are getting it to 3.5 to 3.8 gigahertz, depending on the cooling that you have. So that's a fantastic buy. But still, if you compare the Q6600 to the Q9450, you're going to get a lot more bang for the buck with the Q6600 CPU. Keep your questions coming.